Hello student, this is the last problem from Thermistor and Power under the year 2018, question number 39 from set 4. Under Thermistor and Power, this is the last question under uh, two mark category. This is about uh, precision seed planter. The problem says a precision seed planter can plant 10 seeds for evolution of the metering plate with a root to root distance of 450 millimeter. It is speed of 6 km per hour. A plant population of 36 plants per square meter is desired for the crop. The germination percentage of the seed is 90%. If the planter ground wheel is a rolling radius of 350 mm, the speed ratio of metering plate to the ground wheel is required to obtain the desired plant population. Population is there. First of all, this is a seed planter which is driven by ground wheel. Whenever you need to solve a problem from the planter or seeder, seed wheel, you need to know that the forward speed does not have any effect on either the seed rate or the you can say the seed spacing basically. So there is no effect. Therefore, whenever seed wheel or seed plant ground wheel is given, in down in given, that means the speed is not required. Actually, the speed is just given to confuse. You. So therefore, the speed has no role in this problem. This is this should be clear to you so that you can easily uh, solve this problem. Also. This is the basic uh, principle. Now let us start solving this problem. This is a precision seed planter. This is a tail sales probably because one revolution 10 seeds it will uh, just uh, drop or it can plant that's why it has 10 cells so let us start then let us say this is a little device is here little and this is the ground wheel <coughs> sorry ground wheel is here you can see here so from ground wheel to little device something so the so this, this is metering device is here maybe. But then this speed ratio it is maybe 10 is to 1 or 1 is to 1 depending upon the speed ratio. Now plant population required is 36 plants per square meter. So that means if you take the area of the field uh, 1 square meter 1 by 1 is 1 square meter then number of plants should be 36. Germination percentage is given as 90%. Therefore, if you want 36 plants per square meter, how much plants, uh, seeds you have to plant? That is 90% of the seed will germinate and 10% will be lost. That's why the number of seeds you have to put will be equal to 36 divided by 0.9. That is 40 seeds per square meter. So this is the very simple thing first you have to calculate. So 40 seeds we have to plant in the field per square meter to have 36 plants per square meter. Now due to spacing is given 450 millimeter will be equal to 0.45 meter. Therefore seed to seed spacing will be uh, required will be equal to 1 is the area 1 meter square so now it is very simple this is meter square okay 40 is the number of seeds and so number of seeds you have to put number of seeds and 0.45 is the root to root spacing so if you see this is one root and this is another root so the spacing is this one so root to root spacing is to be maintained it is 0.45. Therefore, there will be seed to seed spacing will be 1 by 18 meter. Now, let n is the speed ratio between ground wheel and metering plate. So, if this is ground wheel, ground wheel look like this. If you see there is spikes for better traction or you will not see the slip on the ground. Therefore, when this is to be connected with to the proper bend or chain or socket or whatever to the 
speed meter will divide speed meter will divide is what that is there will be same number of cells will be so they will be same so that they will be the speed ratio will be down to is a is to 1 or 1 is to n to pay the net therefore if this rotates one time this will be 1 by n very simple now we have to calculate one revolution of speed meter in this cell see if it rotates one time then it gives 10 seats so 10 seats and spacing is 1 by 18 how much uh, space uh, distance it should cover this one that will be equal to n is the speed ratio into 10 into 1 by 18 is the seat spacing seat spacing into 10 is the total distance it has to cover for one revolution and n is the revolution that it it makes so this n is to 1 is the ratio of c so that's it if it rotates once it will rotate n if this is the reduction ratio then it's n is to 1 ulta ulta ho jayega so pi d pi d is just if, if it rotates once then it travels pi d is the peripheral length so pi d if it moves then it will move n into 10 seats and 10 seats will have the n into 10 seats will give the length is one uh, this much and that should be equal to this length therefore you will equate it then you can find out it now d is how much diameter of the ground wheel here actually the uh, ruling radius of the ground wheel is given that is 0.35 therefore the diameter of the ground will be equal to 2 into r or ruling radius that is 0.7 meter therefore putting it say 0.7 meter into the equation so this pi into 0.7 is equal to n is you have to calculate 10 into 1 by n therefore n will be directly or the ratio of the speed ratio between the ground wheel to the uh, seat uh, uh, plate so this is the uh, that will be 18 into 5 into 0 0.7 divided 10 is 3.9 this should be the equivalent speed ratio between the ground rule to the speed plate this is the answer for this question therefore the answer will be 3.96 is the desired plant population is 36 and uh, now it's here that this speed has no effect or no rule in calculating the speed reduction between the ground wheel and return case. This solves the problem and answer is equal to